Welcome back, everyone. Um, I can't, of course, because it's my personality, and I quickly realize it's your personality, too. I'm going to have one joke about this. Welcome. There's six of us here. You can only see two of us, but you're about to find out why <laughs> I said this. And then I have to get serious, uh, Ray, because this, uh, this is a topic that uh, it just numbs me sometimes. Um, this is Ray Fierstein. And Ray Fierstein is a scientific investigator. And we're at a very hallowed place right now. We're at the museum at Fort William Henry in Lake George. And it's not unlikely that people who come here might sense paranormal activity. Now, we happen to live in an era right now where that word tends to be exploited and sensationalized and whatever. But suppose we had a really interesting and succinct and direct conversation about what this might mean. Uh, welcome, Ray. Thank Very you nice for to having have you me. here. I appreciate it. Uh, I've got to start with, you have a very interesting way to approach this. The word scientific is not by accident in the description of your title. Tell me about your approach to this. Well, uh, I have 30 years experience as an engineer in acoustical engineering and um, electrical electronic, and I um, utilize that to build a lab that actually um, I guess you would say trap or monitor all different kinds of energies and um, then discerns from those energies what is natural or man-made opposed to what is extraordinary. Right, got it. And that's how you describe paranormal, right? Yes. Yes, something that's out of the ordinary. And uh, I, what he's referring to in layman's terms, because I had to ask him about this, was that we all give off vibrations. Everything gives off vibrations, right? right? You're giving off, I mm -hmm. am. These inanimate objects are giving off vibrations. But uh, how would you ascertain the difference between normal vibrations and ones that would capture your curiosity? Well, um, the, this, what I found in, in the investigations that I've done, or at least the research, let me do that, uh, is that uh, spirit entities have come through, and this fort is, is, is alive, if I want to use the word, yeah, sure. um, with spirit entities. Uh, I call them the, our living and paired friends. And they actually give off um, a, a certain uh, frequency. All right, now, your frequency is one thing, and it is stable, but theirs has... A little change to it. It's like plucking a guitar string and waiting for the tone to go down. It, it has a waveform to it and it, it's, it's distinctive now and it's a specific frequency. Like we're at about uh, 1,000 to 2,000 hertz. They're above that about four to 5,000 hertz. Mm -hmm. So I can sense you, which I can with this lab, and I can sense them and anything else that's hanging around you know, like lights or electrical or any of that, or radio frequencies, camera frequencies, things like that. So I can discern from that. It's got a, a database mm -hmm. in there that, that just takes everything in and puts away what is normal or natural or man-made. And then whatever's left, it can be spiritual. Absolutely. Um, I, we're going to show you, by the way, this lab, because it is portable. He has developed a portable one. Uh, two years ago, I think you told me you yeah. did this. But you want to know something? Uh, I, I really, and I know our viewers would be really interested in this. Some people just <laughs> always sense, say, you know, this has sort of been with me my whole life. When mm -hmm. I was young, I had just the sense that I was aware of other vibrations, if you will, around or whatever. What? Where did this start for you? Oh, you mean from the very beginning? I mean, I've been steeped in paranormal since I was... Five. Well, what was the experience? Oh, well, I actually I died when I was five years old from my wasping behind my ear, uh -huh. and I uh, was revived 20 minutes later. Uh, to the surprise of the nurse and the doctor, they thought I was dead. Whoa. I had to I had to sheet over my face and I threw it down. And said, "Where's my mommy?" And uh, they both had little shepherd's pie in their knickers when that happened, you know. So, <laughs> you know, it was a, a very interesting experience. And they did have, I guess, I don't call it a near death because I was dead. It's more like a near life experience mm -hmm. coming from the other side. Mm -hmm. And um, then again, when I was 17, I, I, I died again uh, from appendicitis. And this is all ramped up 
uh, through this time period up to now, I'm 67 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, but 20 years ago, uh, there was an experience uh, that I'll never forget, and it's still in my ear, uh, of a singing spirit in my home. Mm -hmm. And um, it happened like at two o'clock in the morning on one night that uh, I was um, coming down to see if my wife was okay, and she was sick on the couch, and. It's saying three notes, uh, six notes actually in triplet three times, which is a, sig a significant number. Three is a big spiritual number. Mm -hmm. And most psychics and numerologists and astrologists will tell you this. I was unaware of it because I don't follow that. I don't read any books. I watch a lot of sci-fi, but I don't read the books. I don't want that information. It's somebody else's idea of it. And when I brought it to some other people, they said that was significant. There was something that was trying to tell you something. So I was reaching, that's when I started researching. Uh, as an engineer, I did a lot of um, engineering for a very large communications company. And my job was to eliminate EMF, EMI, right. electromagnetic force, radio frequency interferences, electromagnetic pulsing. I reverse engineered all that, and that's where this lab came from. It took me 20 years to build it, just to get the way I wanted, mm -hmm. wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're here at the fort because the weekend of November f 1, 2, and 3, mm -hmm. you will actually be here yes. with your portable lab. Yep. And tell me about what you hope to accomplish. So what we're expecting to happen, we're hoping to happen, and it's never a guarantee because yes, you never right, know sure. what mood they're in. Right. You know, they could be doing something else. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have to be. But they seem to like the lab. They come to it. And um, I'm hoping that the people that come experience what we experienced the first time we were here, which was an incredible conversation. You know, this might be a really obvious question, uh, but why do you think there's activity here? Uh, what, we've, what I've found in all the years of looking into this is that, um, like say for instance, Gettysburg too, that's another hot right, spot. Of course. Uh, any tragedy, uh, you're, you as a human give off an energy and your mind is very, very powerful. And I'm not talking about your brain, that's just organic. Your mind is very powerful. You have a traumatic experience, you give off this energy. You know, remember there's an old 60s uh, phrase, hey man, you give me bad vibes, yes, that's right? right. Yeah, well, sure. that's not too oft. That's if people right. have that feeling, you can tell if somebody's a good person sometimes, mm -hmm. unless they're charismatic and they can hide it, mm -hmm. or they're bad and they have an alternate agenda. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you can get, and some people are very sensitive to that. So uh, the energies that are left here are from traumatic experiences. One of the voices that came through was a, was a, 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 a person that said, Billy, uh, a younger voice says, Dad, Mm. What's happened with this, the evolution of the, the lab, which surprised me, is now it's able to connect the spirits together to talk to each other. And it was a father and son mm -hmm. that fought here. You can say, well, how do you know that? Well, we did some searching. We asked more questions and they gave us up answers. The only other thing I'm going to say to you is that we don't know if they're lying. We don't know what these spirits are. They could be entities that lived here and died here, or there could be other things going on. We, you know, mm -hmm. you really don't know all that, but we can tell evil from good. We yeah. can tell negative from positive. Right. And we have assistance from guides, spirit guides, they call them. Uh, typically, like Tracy Flutie will be here, and she helps define, okay, we have a, a bona fide. She feels it. She understands it. Mm -hmm. She knows some of this. And we are now getting... Um, definition mm -hmm. to the word paranormal mm -hmm. and the events that happened. The Gettysburg I suggest I talked to you about earlier was there are snap there's people they can see walk through the woods. They walk through the woods. Those are called snapshots and they're not really hauntings. It's um like a uh, it's like a film strip and it'll play over and over again. And it's a tragic energy release that mm -hmm. just imprints on time. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? We happen to live in one of the most historic places in the country. And what you're saying, you know, a lot of us have either talked to other people who have felt this. Uh, we all have, I'm sure many of us have personal experiences. And uh, when you're in, in a hotbed of activity, 
something like mm. this, where people fought, they died, they died before their time. They're not, they're not, their life wasn't resolved. Or unexpectedly. You know, you know there could be so many things. Look, uh, we're, we're out of time. It, uh, November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, please go to Fort William Henry's website in Lake George, and you can find out about times. Uh, there's a reception on Friday, correct, Friday, Ray? yes. And then throughout the weekend, there'll be all kinds of activities, pun intended, I guess, <laughs> the, uh, going on here. So please find out about it. It's a rare opportunity, not for somebody who says, oh, I think I, I see a ghost, but somebody who's a scientist, who's an engineer, who actually has equipment to be able to ascertain and identify the different things that we've been talking about in this interview. Boy, I can't wait for the first ray, I'm well, telling you. I bet you can't wait either, right? Anybody who comes is an interactive lab. They're uh, offered the opportunity to talk with mm -hmm. them and ask the questions that they want to ask of the spirits. I got a few. I'm sure you do. Oh, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to close with just thing really, really quickly. When this interview started, seven blackbirds automatically just appeared right up here on the roof and we're giving off this very strange little cack, 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 cack sound to each other. They're gone now. We're done. The crows bring <laughs> spirit, by the way. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Ray. You will see you on the first. You got it. And everybody else. Everybody else. <laughs> see and everybody in, else. <laughs> see this interview again. You can head to our website, looktvonline.com. <laughs>